I see a, I see a guy. I see a guy with a cell phone. On the left. On the left. Approaching very fast. How you doing? Have a seat. You meeting a kid in know, the park I after dark. If you know, then why you are you know, here? You came up here. You were so excited. Answer for hey, it. You read it. I read it. I'll read it again. No, and the cops happening. are going to read it too. What would you do if an actual 13-year-old girl was here and no. it wasn't us? <laughs> You reached San Diego emergency. This isn't a trap that we set up, you set up this trap. We're not gonna sit out here all night, man. You gotta call your wife. So why don't you call your wife? What? Wife? Either you tell her or we do. No. Do you wanna know about this? Because it's your husband and you have a you know a 14-year-old kid. <laughs> Ma'am, it's, it's it's not a joke. It's it's true. Please, I'm sorry! I am beside myself that you guys have not taken this seriously. I need an officer assistance right now. I got the oh whole no, thing happening fine. right there, and now you're wasting time over here with stupid questions. No, he's coming with me. I'm not running away from you. Okay, you better not. He's not going anywhere. Can you just stop filming me, please? No. They're already here. Yeah, it's, gonna it's for our protection. Dude, you got nothing to stand on. The following video contains situations, subjects, and language that may be uncomfortable for some viewers and are not suitable for children. This video is for documentary purposes and meant to educate parents and communities of the online dangers that children may face, as well as shed light on those who cause these dangers. Furthermore, the individuals remain innocent until proven guilty in a court of law, as we are not law enforcement. These individuals should not be harmed or harassed based on their actions shown and discussed in this video. Viewer discretion is advised. Hi guys, this video is about Martin, age 54, of Chula Vista, California. I just want to start this video out by saying that the subject in this video is innocent until proven guilty in a court of law, as we are not law enforcement, nor do we claim to be. This is for educational purposes and documentary purposes only. This is a collab that I did with Trilogy Media. Um, I'm sure all of you guys know who that is already, but if you don't, go over to their channel and be sure to subscribe to them and show them some support. They pretty much do exactly what I do, except with scammers. So instead of c confronting predators, they confront scammers. I had been chatting with Martin for quite some time now. Um, I did state my age immediately. I told him I was 13 and he did not have a problem with it at all. You know, he would say things to this 13 year old girl like, you're beautiful, he would send the heart eye emojis. Um, he also asked to paint her nails and said that her lips look yummy. Uh, he also stated that he wanted her to put icy hot on his genitals. That's a little peep in the background. I was listening to music. So after weeks and weeks of chatting, um, you know, he would ask to meet up multiple times. I am in Wisconsin. He is in Chula Vista, California. Um, and he thought this 13 year old girl lived in San Diego. So I would have to keep pushing it off, making excuses, telling him, uh, you know, I'm, I'm busy or oh, I'm grounded. Um, but he did say a lot of more incriminating uh, things during that time. I hopped on a Zoom call with Trilogy Media shortly after that and we made a game plan of when I could fly out there and we could confront Martin. Martin is married with uh, three kids and we do have him contact his wife. During the confrontation it got really intense and um, uh, it, was, it was clear to Martin, you know, that his selfish, disgusting, vile decision that he chose to make that day was not only affecting his life, but literally everybody's life around him. Without further ado, let's get into the confrontation, and here we go. Okay, I see, I see a guy. I see a guy with a cell phone 
Where? On the left, on the left, approaching okay. very fast. Guy? Okay, oh, there's a guy approaching. There is a guy, the phone was on. Coming from her left. Yep. Okay, quiet. Her left? Yes. Yep, yep, her left. Quiet, quiet. He, see him. He's gonna pass you soon. She just said I'm excited. Oh, I see him. Oh, God, that's him. That's him. That's him. That's him. Yep, here we go. Yep, the, the phone, the phone is, yep, that's him. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go, boys. Okay, keep her a few minutes. Hi! I can't believe it! <laughs> I'm sorry. What's up? Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, not, not yet. I'm shy. Sorry. <laughs> What's up? Hi. Oh, wow. Did it move? Oh, yeah, it is shaky. I didn't know it moved until you sat on it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I'm heavy? No! <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, I'm, I'm shy. Sorry. Um, I'm good. <laughs> I can't believe, like, you're here. It's okay. Mm. No big deal. No big deal. Well, I'm, I'm shaky. Why? Because, you know, it's weird. Why is it weird? We were talking for a while. <laughs> I know. So how are you? I'm good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. How are you? Nervous. Why? I'm a little nervous too. I'm shaky. <laughs> Me too. Wow. Oh my god. I know. I feel this okay. What's okay? This whole thing. Yeah. Okay. We're just sitting here. <laughs> it's not weird. Aren't you cold? You should yeah, I am now. <laughs> I was really hot earlier, but now I'm cold. Oh my god. Finally made it. Like a traffic like a crazy bad. Day. Oh my god, it's nuts. Yeah. Too much. It's kind of nice though right now, like with the lights and stuff. I don't know. It's like kind of relaxing, right? It is, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. <laughs> what were you thinking all day? If you were actually real and coming, I yeah. thought you were going to stand me up. No, I told you I was coming. Still. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. You can't believe anything. You could have lied. You could have been... Because I thought you were like texting me and being like, Yeah, I'm on my way, but then you're like, uh, I actually decided not to come. And I was like, wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I made it. <laughs> it's a cool park. Yeah, you ever been here? Uh, I passed by. Yeah. I know there's a, a place where you, where they play soccer. Isn't it right across the street, I think? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I just live down there, so. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. That's cool. So what's up? I don't know. <laughs> Are you going to pay my toenails? <laughs> yeah. You got it? You got no. <laughs> if I did, would you pay them? Did you do it? No, I didn't. You haven't? No. Why not? We never did. What? I don't know. You want me to? I'll do him. <laughs> For free. For free? Yeah. Would you want to cuddle after? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you want me to cut him for you? I mean, uh, yeah. cuddle. Not cut him. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, it's cold. I know. A warm pizza sounds good right now. Do you want some? Kind of. Where? Mm hmm. I don't know any places. Don't, don't you make here. pizza for a living? <laughs> I do. I made a shitload of pizzas, but at work. Yeah. Tons of them. Hmm? Tons of them. Tons. Lots of them. Yeah. Chicken parm and pizza are my favorite. And hey, where's that at? Hmm? Where is it at? What? The pizza. I don't know. Don't you make them? <laughs> I know, but don't you have a place around here? Yeah. Do you really want to get pizza? Sure. Yeah. We can, we can walk and get some. Mark, uh, how you doing? Have a seat, have a seat. Yeah, how you doing? Seat. I'm good, man. Yeah, are you, you good? Yeah. Are you, are you sure about that? Well, yeah. What are you doing here? Meeting friend. Who's that? Yeah. Uh, friend. What kind of friend? Well, I met her in the internet. Yeah? In the phone. Okay. How old is she? Uh, 13, 14? I don't know. Do you hear yourself? Yeah. I'm not doing anything wrong. You're not doing you anything wrong? You want to try wrong? again? No. <laughs> Do you know what I have here? What is it? Do you know what I have here? Uh, conversations, I guess. So you want to try again? No, sir. How old no? is she? 14, 15. Not okay. 14, 15. Then? 13. 13. Oh, shit. Yeah. She's in school, well, right? Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. So you have a wife and kids, right? I do. You do? Let's see. So what are you doing in the park <clears throat> with a 13 years old? Nothing, sir. Nothing? Don't you want to paint her nails? That's stupid. I 
that know. stupid? I know, but... I got some Icy Hot in the car. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. You think it's funny? No, it's not. But then stop laughing. No, I'm and sorry. talk I apologize. truth. But you should apologize to her That's and the rest right. of humanity. So we got Martin O... Wife's name is... You're 54. You live at... So how would your wife find out of, uh, feel if she found out about this? And you have she, a son. You have a fucking son. Does that not click? Anything you want to say? Where does your wife think you are right now? What What did you tell her? I were. Did you find, you know, we were talking for over a month and a half, you don't, you never stop to like think like, wow, this is wrong. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this. Yeah, it is fucking wrong. So why'd you do it? I want to see your eyes. It's wrong. I'm sorry. It's fucking wrong. How many times in the message you said, I can get in trouble for this? <laughs> so many fucking times. But your horniness brought you to this park on Tuesday after work when your wife at home and kids are at home and you're meeting 13 years old in the park. You asked her if she watches porn. You asked her if she's a virgin. You asked her if she likes to touch herself. You asked her if her previous boyfriend got a boner. I want to see your eyes. No, oh, sir, please. Please what? No, please. It's too late for please, my friend. Okay. You meeting a kid I in the know, park sir, off the door. If you know, then why you are you know, here? I have a question for you. So, how come five minutes ago you weren't crying, but now that you're caught, you're crying? Like, is that when you realized it was wrong? Inappropriate? I know the fucking all the time he was wrong. So you know you what that can do to a 13 year old girl's mind? Kind of grooming her. You're teaching her about really weird sexual things that she probably shouldn't know about. Send a pic, one with like bra and undies on, lol. Take one live, not from library. You don't have to wear makeup, natural is better. Much better, you look gorgeous. How's your homework coming along? Do you realize how big time you, you just got fucked? Your life is never gonna be the same. I from know. coming to this <laughs> fucking park to meet 13 years old somebody else's daughter that somebody else kid we got plenty of time from five to eight or nine to have fun just give me one hour isn't it ash i'm here to make you feel good don't be shy do you smoke weed drink i love kissing i can kiss for hours no it's okay it's, uh, yeah. no it's not okay you can't no. stand hearing what you said can you you're gonna hear every fucking word of this my friend they look yummy Looks like you have beautiful lips. Why are you telling a 13 year old girl that she has beautiful lips and they look yummy? I'm so fucking sorry. And you said so that you have a great stupid. long kisser that you can kiss for a long time? You saying ah. these to somebody <laughs> else's fucking daughter who's 13? Oh my god. Please. What is I'm so sorry, wrong with you? I'm so sorry. It's not sorry. Oh. Fine. You're sorry because you got caught. You yeah, weren't sorry five minutes ago. No, you weren't doing sorry a month and a half ago. Anything. We have it all on. Really? No, no. We have it all recorded, bro. You're going to read her a book? You're going to help her mathematics? No, I'm Every not going history anywhere. With geography? I'm not going anywhere with her. Really? So she was going to get some though? pizza, that's it. You never try to touch yourself? Want to try it out? Oh Are you in your room? You want to do it now? So just because you weren't going anywhere with her, that makes it okay for talking sexual with her for a month and a half? No, 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 no. How many other girls are you talking to right now? It's all wrong. Don't fucking lie to me. How many girls are you talking to right now? This is not your first time, huh? No, it's not sir. your first time. Not, 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 first time. not with somebody like her. Oh. You mean a child? No. So if this wasn't no your child, first time, why was it so easy for you to come and meet this child if this wasn't your first time? Or if this was your first time? You fuck. I am. Fuck. We're going to your house. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to your house. We're going to talk to your me. wife. No. Wife. Either you tell her or we do. know who the fucking evil husband is. Oh, 
Please what? Please, please what? How old is your son? I got a 14 year old. You have a, are you, you fucking have a 14 kidding year old? me, bro? You're you trying can... to have sex with a girl no, younger no, than no, your no, son. No, 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 me. We have the Don't no. fucking bullshit me. I'm it's all on text. You, I have sir. the evidence in my you. fucking clipboard, you piece of shit. I'm gonna make you feel good? With what? No, with geography? Sir, no, 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 I'm sorry. With what you want to make feel good at 13 oh, years old? I had this app for a long time. I come here in and out. I bet you do. Well, how about we get out of here and continue with each other? Good morning, beautiful. Do you you know, can do a lot of things with pasta. Good lord, the fucking imagery. Do you know that uh, I am uh, an Im immigrant? And you know, like, you're so fucking blessed that you're in America? If you would be in my country, which is Eastern Europe, I'll be there by now. Yeah? You'll be fucking dead by now. There is no prosecution, there is no calling police. There is community execution for creeps and predators like you are. You're alive right now because you're in this beautiful country. We'll see how, your, how is uh, your inmate gonna think about you. Yeah, thank God we're in America because you're gonna get prosecuted to the full extent of the law. We might not get physical with you, unfortunately, I can speak for myself, but law gonna serve a great lesson for you. Coming to the fucking park after dark to talk, talk to 13 years old. So your mind were saying, right, you've been given skeptical. I should not do that, I should not do it. But your dick, your horniness brought you to this park after dark. Do you think you have a problem? Perhaps. 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 How would you feel if somebody tried to lure your 14-year-old son out here? Uh, Some, uh, to uh, put Icy Hot on his cock. How would that uh, feel? For a month and a half, texting your son, hey, are you, you in school right now? When do you get out? How would you feel if some man tried to lure your son out here to take advantage of him? Stop? No bad. Bad, yeah. So what's wrong with in your family? So why wife is not any more desire? What's happening? What's what? I don't know, sir. What what Sorry, happened I with the relationship? Know. Is it got apart? You got a kid? You got too too stressed at work? What happened? What broke the marriage? Why are you looking something on the side? Not not even cheating, which is unacceptable in a relationship. But go under fucking age to put your hands, to put whatever you want to put on 13 years old, somebody else's daughter. What brought you here? My stupidity. What else? That's it? No, this is beyond being stupid, man. Do you you have so it, many chances. Do you know how it feels? You like playing with things, lol? What else do you like to play with? I'll let you play with me. Hmm. That's, that's not a stupidity. It's absolutely not a stupidity. I think you are sick. You're absolutely sick in your head. This is fucking America. There are law and regulations of people getting married, of people getting first drink at 21, getting driver license. You not 13 or 14 that you can go on a date with, with your schoolmate. You're 50 fucking You're four. You're 50 fucking four years old. And you know what else is bad? Is your wife is a fucking school teacher, isn't she? You know how that's gonna reflect on her? Oh, oh they both are your it's wife a, is not. It's, it's me, your, man. She has nothing to do with it. Oh, she has everything to do with that. Every no, decision she you doesn't. make affects the people you love. I no, know. It's not her fault, but she's certainly no. gonna know. She lived with that monster for how many years? How long you guys been married? A long. A long time, huh? Yeah. 
So nothing excites you anymore except 13 years old girls. No. Nothing excites you anymore. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? I hear a lot of crying and bullshit and coward nonsense, but do you actually want to say something? I mean, this is your opportunity to explain. Because if you don't, we're just going to think the worst. If we were cops, we, you would already be in handcuffs. That's not why we're here. We're here to document people like you and, you know, give you the benefit of the doubt. Explain yourself or, or apologize to somebody, do to we, somebody's mother. Do you guys, I'm saying I'm sorry, but you guys don't want to accept any, any of my apologies at all. Because the stupidities I have done. I don't want you to apologize to Jesus. me. Explain. What do you want me to explain? Do you need a doctor? How you got on this fucking bench? I walk over here. Yeah, fucking obviously you didn't fly with Elon Musk from the Mars. How did you get to the point where you were talking to a 13-year-old I don't know, man. I don't know. You do know. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You messaged her first. What the hell you, don't, you mean you don't know? Being stupid, I guess. That's, that's the fucking dumb thing to do. <laughs> you know what dumb thing to do? A lot of dumb things to do, you know? But this is not a dumb thing to do. This is sickness inside of you. Yes, it is. This is your boner that brought you here. Martin, if I were to go through your phone right now, would she be the only underage girl you're talking to? Yeah. You haven't talked to anybody. What do you think should happen to you right now? Dude, I have no intentions to do anything. I, it's okay if you don't believe me. You say that shit, it's gonna make it's this okay. a lot worse. It's okay, it's okay. It's not okay. Not well, you guys dialogue. don't fucking want to believe anything I say. We, so why don't you tell us the fucking truth? This is what uh, you said? What do you want me to say? Answer for this! Okay, you, Answer you, you for fucking this. read it! Answer for then it! Then you fucking read it! I read it, I'll read it again. No, and the cops everything. are gonna read it too. And is the FBI. Okay, fucking and Homeland Security. Security. Let's just get the shit done with. Wow, look at you how brave you are, huh? No, it's not braveness, bro. He's a fucking coward is what he is. No, it's not. Don't call me bro, I'm not your bro. I'm sorry, I apologize. I'm not, I'm not part I of... I said I'm sorry, I apologize. You don't even seem remorseful. You know, you say I'm sorry, but that's not... That's a word, it's not a, a feeling. You don't seem remorseful at all. Because I'm fucking done. I'm, 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 I'm dead. You're dead? Exactly, thank you. Because you got busted. And you realizing how fucked up and stupid things you just done. Yeah, you're not apologizing you for what you did. You walked into the trap. But meanwhile, you told her, I've been watching these predators, and you refer, like, uh, please uh, give me a line. How did he uh, refer to about uh, being predators? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Older guys. All those YouTubers. Who, who meet guys. with younger girls. Yeah, it's a shame. Because you didn't want to say predator. You are a fucking predator. You're supposed to be a role model to your son. I know, dude. Well, you know what? Son always can go visit, right? Daddy in a, in a prison. But maybe that's gonna be a great example that your son never gonna be like you are. Do you know it's a week from Thanksgiving? Yeah. This is, and, and you're, oh, you're going man. after children? Yeah. The holiday oh, no, season? No. Sorry. Disgusting, man. Oh, yeah. Well, you got a lot of debts to repay here, and the first one is going to be to your wife, so I want you to get her on the phone. <laughs> oh, man. Get her on the phone, or I will. I am not fucking around with you. Uh, can you give me the first three uh, three digits of wife's uh, 619? number? 619? Yeah. What is it? 619? Yeah. Yeah? I got lots of numbers. Right. I got addresses. I got you. Papa 1123. She's a teacher in the school, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. We know everything. Mm -hmm. we All right. Everything. E so she's a teacher. Six, she's teaching kids how to be good kids, Fifth right? Sixth grade. Right around the same age. Wow. Isn't that funny? How convenient. Son, his name is... Oh boy. I don't feel sorry for a lot of people, but I'm actually sorry for you. You just fucked up. You fucked up right now so bad. That I don't even know where to start and where to end. Martin, you should call your wife. No, you will call your wife, or we're gonna go to your house. Oh, please, I, you, I you mean, know. who do you want her to hear it from? You or somebody else? Do you want this to be done in front of your son or here via a phone call? It's up please. to you. 
Call your wife, man. <laughs> Please, man. Too late for crocodile tears. Don't do it you need again, to call your I wife. Swear. You need to open up. If, you, if, you, if there is anything man please. besides your dick left inside oh, of you, man, have those balls that you put that hot and cold packs. <laughs> Call your wife, let her know what you've done and tell her that she better start packing because you're going to prison. <laughs> no, you were a man 10 minutes ago when you showed up here. Be a yep. man now. You did a man move. Please, I'm sorry. Your dick led directly to the trap. If I will be a father of 13 years old kid and I will find out this situation, uh, probably you would not go to the prison. I would go for murdering you. Marvin, this is we're, not gonna, you. we're not gonna sit out here all night, man. You gotta call your wife. Yep. Well, you know what? Well, we're 10 minutes away from if, uh, Exactly. If Crybaby don't want yeah, to don't, don't call man. the wife, you know what? We'll do this in front and of we'll show her the whole Law enforcement is going to, you know, officer going to call the wife. There's, there's no getting out of this, man. You put yourself in here, you got to be man enough to get yourself out. Then go the way, please. You want us to go away? Go. You want us oh, to go tell her? No. Go Trust me. That's you trying to call a bluff. It's a fail because we are gonna go to your house. Yeah. You don't oh. We got all night, dude. Yep. We don't live here. <laughs> we draw way far away. We've been planning these special operations for so many months. We are oh, not. We're not talking. going anywhere. We have so much time to kill. Warden, your cell phone in the left pocket. Left top pocket. It's gonna all end a lot sooner. Yeah. Let's 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 finish this crybaby misery. Yeah, call your wife, man. Just tell her what you, you have did. Have a number. Why don't you call her? You want me to call her? We'll call. Yeah, we'll call her right now. Then call her. I have no problem oh. calling her. Oh, it's like that. So you can't even face her yourself. Wow, I thought the, the, those bowls that brought him to this park were so big. Too much icy hot, they melted off. Yeah, probably. Too many ice packs. All right, all right. We're gonna wait until a 13 years old kid gonna call the wife and explain from your perspective, how does it feel? That's even better. How does it feel? To go to the park when there is a 54 years old man gonna teach her how to touch herself and watch porn. Dude, all right. Got right out of work and came straight here. Straight here. Been thinking about this all day, haven't you? Been waiting all day for this. How many times today did you have that that moment, that feeling in your chest that told you I shouldn't come? All fucking day. All, all day. Fucking day. But you're still and you here. Didn't listen. Your gods told you, like, don't do this, this is wrong. But your dick was so hard that, you know what? It just outpower, outpower, outshine. <laughs> yep. All right. Let's go, you know, Tristan gonna call your wife. Even better. From female to female perspective, explaining. I was kind of like hoping you won't show up and we have to go home empty-handed. <laughs> and set up no. another trap, another park, another city. Oh, shit. It's kind of like a little disappointing me, like I said, I, Hold the I was hoping you won't show up. I was hoping that there is a pain. Oh, I'm fucking disappointed myself, too, fucking idiot. I was hoping in my side. Yeah. He, 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 uh, 
He's freaking out about that, but he doesn't want to do it. So I think, do you want to do it? Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah? Yeah. Um, also, um, cops aren't coming because they're like busy and we ha I got a detective's number though, so. They're not coming? Yeah. It's incredible. How many things we could have avoided in our lives <laughs> if we would just listen to our gods oh and not letting this devilness evil voice overshine the other, the good voice inside. You reach San Diego emergency. It's the least you can do, right? You know, because you're only feeling sorry for yourself. So, she deserves to know who her husband is, wouldn't you agree? And why she's not at home right now. Exactly. Caring for your children. And instead, you're caring for someone else's children. Your time, but I highly suggest you call her because you at least owe her that, right? Would you agree, yes or no? Yeah. Thank you. That would show us that you're not only sorry because you were caught. Mm -hmm. It would show you taking a little bit of accountability for your actions. Yes, hi, I am at 4146 Idaho Street at the North Park uh, Recreational Center. Uh, one of my associates just called in requesting officer assistance for a, uh, a man that was here to meet a 13-year-old girl for sex and was told that the cops are not coming and I want to know what the fuck is going on. At the end, you have to face your own mistakes. You have to face your own... Yeah, you, you put us all in this situation today, Martin. I told you, I was sitting in a car for one hour wishing he would not show up and kind of like you know it will be a waste of time and a waste of money and a waste of resources but i kind of was wishing that there is something in your inside of you gonna say like you know what i can't be doing this yep this is wrong you were texting me on the whole way here Martin. i know i know i know i did i'm not denying that no you're not you're not denying it you you you're one of those cases that know exactly that you should have been there, should have been here, and you fucked up. You know exactly that you're wrong. You're not running away, we had those. You're not showing up. You didn't even, you didn't even show up early. Yeah. To scoop, to make sure there is no cop sitting. You didn't even do a fucking homework on this part. <clears throat> Ready, you walk straight to the trap without even thinking. That's what worries me. Martin, well, her mom is out of town, out of state. Asking about what about the dad? So you're okay that parents are out of town and 13 years old girl walking in to the park to meet a stranger three times four times older than her but he doesn't know you are there no we're standing right in front of him we're, we're talking so to he, him but, so he knows that you you uh he knows he's caught he knows he's caught yes Okay, we'll be out there as soon as possible, okay? Okay, please, please put an urgency on this. This guy is preying on a lot of 13-year-old and under, under girls. So I don't know if you have kids, but I know, I know you guys are busy, but please make this happen. Yeah, well, I made it as a priority call, okay, Thank for you. a valid uh, child molest case, sir. And we'll see uh, uh, which officer can be assigned to get over there as soon as possible, okay? Thank you very much. You're old enough to be her grandfather, Martin. You have a son that's a year older than this child Almost an age. that you lured out of the house today. That you, you've been asking to hang out for weeks now. I mean, this isn't a mistake that you made. This is a decision that you decided to make. This isn't a trap that we set up. You set up this trap. If you never hit up this alleged 13 year old none of us would be in this situation today you message her not her 
You asked to hang out first, not her. You are the adult here. You should know better, not know. her. So why don't you call your wife? Yeah. You guys got that moment. Call her. All right. Okay. All right. You use mine. Yeah. Please, Tristan, do the honors. Maybe one of these three in the front. Wow, you fucking disappointed me like twice in a row. First time to showing up, and second time not even having balls to call you to face your own wife. I mean, she's gonna hear you on speaker anyway, so uh, it doesn't really matter. But... You just get the camera away from me, please. Absolutely not. We're filming for safety reasons, so that way you can't. I hear identify us. as a camera, so fuck yourself. Okay. All right. Well, we'll see. Well, I'm overage, so technically that would be all right, but you wouldn't know about that, would you? Yeah, it's a little too old for you, Martin. I know. It's not your category. He's too old. Yeah, he's old. Yeah. I'm a little plump, and I don't like a KY or whatever it's called. It's called ICP. No. So you can save us the trouble. I have a few numbers here. You want to confirm it, or we can just get in the car and go to your house right now. What does the phone number end in, Martin? You know everything. What, are you what is the out? phone number end in, Martin? You know what? What you, the? Well, just answer you my find fucking out. question. I won't answer you anymore. Okay, I'm going to your house. Go. Well, yeah, all right. First of all, you are in no position, position to, to have oh, authority right you now. You are the one snapping at me, insulting yeah, me. Yeah, you fucking deserve it, you piece of shit. Stop hey, snapping back at me. I'm going to ruin your fucking life for what you just did. So go fuck yourself. I will not take that stupid shit from a piece of shit coward like you. Shut your fucking mouth. Wow, the horny dog is coming alive. Mm. Fighting back. <laughs> All right. People we'll see how is that cage going to serve you. Prison doesn't take too kind to child molesters. Just oh. so you know. But you probably, you're, you'll find out. You'll find out some. That's all good. Don't you care about your family? Like, they're wondering where you are right now. Look at him. If he's here, there is nothing left in this body besides a hot stick and hornies. What do you think about right now, Martin? Be honest. I'm so fucking stupid. So why are you smart mouthing off to him? I'm so mad. Fuck. It's incredible that you only sorry because you got caught. You came up here. You were so excited. You tried hugging me right away. I was just about to say. Yeah, that was gross. Yeah. You tried putting your hands know, on someone no, else's no, kid no, right no. away. Wow, that was a relationship, huh? Months and a half. That he's already was comfortable to give you a hug. Triple texting whenever I wouldn't respond for an hour. How is that appropriate? Everything else aside, how is that even appropriate? That small thing. And then it just got worse and worse. Like, I'm more sexual. I'm sorry. Well, who are you sorry to? Why are you sorry to us, though? What? Speak up. She said, I'm sorry for me because I'm a fucking idiot. Well, don't feel sorry for yourself. Yeah, your family's gonna feel sorry for you, man. Yeah. And you should feel sorry for them. Like about you just said, right? So Thanksgiving is a week away? Yeah. yeah. You don't get From to spend now. that with your family. You don't nope. get to cook and be around children, man. So pasta and chicken is really uh, easy to make, huh? That's what I heard. That's easy. Pasta and chicken. I can feed you. What? You have unpainted nails? Oh, I can paint them really easy for you. Just an image of you painting a 13 years old nails. nails is disgusting. How is that morally okay? But why is it morally okay for you though? Like where where are your morals? How many other kids are you talking to? Be nobody. I, 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 I promise you nobody. So why was it so easy for you? Fucking I'm stupid. Yeah. What? But why was it so easy for you to talk sexual to this kid? Day one, when you've never done this before. 
do you see why we have a hard time believing that you've never done this before when it was so easy for you to do it? She opened up quickly, like so quickly. Yeah. Have you have you done this before with somebody no, who's sir, older? No, 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 no. Did he have a boner? No, I've never, sir. I'm sorry. He's just me believing in that. <laughs> Basically, you're asking, uh, you live a criminal, trust a criminal. So remember how you agreed with me that your wife should know. So why don't you give her a call? Because she'll answer your phone. And we won't even chime in. It's the right thing to do. You have our promise. If you're gonna call your wife, nobody's gonna say anything. We're gonna be quiet. If there is anything left besides your horny dick, call your fucking wife and open up. You have the phone number, just call her. Just she she won't she doesn't recognize her number. We need you to call her, please. Keep calling. What's that? Keep calling. <laughs> Why are you afraid to face your wife? I don't understand. I don't understand? Because you won't tell us. This is a stupid thing to do. It is a stupid it's thing to do. Very stupid. What, what would you do if an actual 13 year old girl was here and no. it wasn't us? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. But that's not what you, that's not what but you did But the first thing ago. that he did, like, it's give a hug immediately. Immediately. Like, yeah. you guys know each other for so long. Like, go to the same school. Wow. You're making sure it's okay with her mom, that her mom's out of town, asking where her dad is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's all there, man. It's all there. So if you didn't have intentions to do anything, why were you asking questions about her parents, where they were? Were you going to go back to her house? No. If you didn't have intentions to do anything, why did you ask me if this was a setup? Like the Predator shows. Why would you be worried about that if you just wanted to meet her to talk? I don't know. You don't know, or are you just lying? You don't want to answer. What do you want me to say? I want you to be the honest. Truth. Honesty. That's what I'm telling you. I'm sorry. I made a fucking mistake. Stupid of me. No, you made a decision. I made a mistake. A, stupid... a decision. Stupid decision. A stupid mistake. Not a mistake. And you've oh. done this before. No, sir, I haven't. You personally no. said, I "I'm on it. this website a lot." You know who goes? What kind of people goes on this website? Everybody goes in there. Yeah, For what it's... reason? No matter of fucking reasons. For fucking. That's the reason. Fucking. That's no, the only sorry. thing that came right from your mouth right now. For fucking. Sometimes people fuck each other when they, you know, the same age. 21, 22, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 69. Not 54 and 13. Yeah. 54 and 13. That feels wrong even just repeating that. Like that yeah, feels speaking so loud wrong. these digits yeah, making me sick. 54 and 13. Yeah, fucking stupid. So, so what was it about this 13-year-old that was attractive? Probably your beautiful lips. That's it. What? That's it. So you did find this 13-year-old's lips attractive. That's it. But why are you telling her that? You know, it would be a great question to find out if you're a really good kisser. You probably need to ask your wife. Because according to you, you fucking kiss for so long and so good. Let's see if, you know, when your wife was the last time kissed by you. And how long does, does this kiss last? Hey, listen, if you don't care about like meeting up with a child for, you know, sexual intentions, you are still cheating on your wife and your wife, child involved or not, deserves to know that you're at least cheating on her. So you should probably, you know, tell your wife because you have so many skeletons in your closet. You're not only cheating on her, but you're cheating on her with a minor. You're <laughs> no, on hookup apps. That's so up. why are you hiding this from her? Why don't you tell her? Don't you feel it bad? It is fucked up. Big fucking time fucked up. And I'm gonna tell you one more time, you fucking lucky bastard that you in America. We would not have these conversations anymore. 
the cleaning people will find you will chopped in the park the following day. If you would be anywhere, anywhere, any fucking country, anywhere else except America, you. you would not be fucking alive right now and crying like a fucking cry baby. It really bothers me that you weren't crying when the 13 year old was here, but now that she's not here and it's adults, you're crying. Like, how come you don't have an issue talking with kids, but you have a really big issue talking with adults? How come? Are you gonna answer me? You don't know? What do you know? How far is our pizza delivery? Well, we got the pizza like you wanted. Yep, that's your favorite pizza. I didn't, Voila! I didn't ask for pizza. You didn't ask for pizza, right? No? Well, she didn't ask to have her life traumatized. So, yep. You, know, you take what you get. She did not ask for a fucking horny predator at 50 years old teaching a kid how to touch herself. If she ever done this before. If she watched porn. If you she, fucking sick. You asked her to touch herself, close her door and touch herself. Someone else's daughter, dude. Someone else's kid. You have no business talking to. And you can't even, you're cringing at your own words being thrown at you, but you said all of these words. You chose to say everything that you said, and you cannot stand to hear it read back to you. All They're right. your words. This is what's going to happen right now. You're going to unblock your phone right now. You're going to hang it to me. And I'm going to call your wife. Well, you have her number. You're really afraid, huh? All right, here's what's going to happen. Since, you know, you don't want to tell your wife, even though she has the right to know, and you agreed to that, we'll just go to her doorstep and tell her yep. in person. We're going to the house. Yep. yep. Okay, go. Oh, we will. We're just waiting on the pizza. Be patient. Yeah. It's just like your favorite pizza is going to show up any minute. The Predator pizza. Mm -hmm. With the big lips. 13 years old pizza is waiting for you. Just a second. Do you have anything to say, Martin? I can't hear you. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, gee, thanks. That's cute. Oh, that's great. We can go home. That's How's great. your Spanish uh, classes going? Don't you want to, you know, teach your Spanish? No? Mm -hmm. Probably going to be a great teacher. Look at you. Such a good guy. Willingly teaching people, kids, second language. Yeah. That's great. That's a really good person, actually. I know. Well, we have it's a lot so of thoughtful good in you. Of you. Also, Martin, just to put another little bug in your ear, I know there are many already. Um, you know, we're not just uh, not to toot our own horns or anything, but the people around you are not just a couple of, uh, you know, basement dwellers that happen to have a video camera. Between all of us here, we have several million people all over the internet that actually follow what we do and watch everything that we do. Um, so everything that you're saying and doing throughout this entire thing is gonna be broadcast to more people than NBC gets viewed on a Friday night primetime. So just keep that in mind. You know, your answers, your actions, your decisions could greatly impact the rest of your life in the next three minutes. That's why we're trying to give you an opportunity to explain yourself, to say anything so that society doesn't fill it in for you. This is your chance, man. Like, no, I'm sorry what I did. I, I wasn't thinking right. This is very fucking dumb. What are you going to do to I, fix it? I That's what I want to know. I asked myself over and over. You what? Uh, what? You saying what? I asked myself over and over if I should come or not. And anything? Oh God, I had doubts so many fucking times. You doubted yourself, right? Yeah, I like, why? <laughs> fucking idiot. Was it really worth it, Martin? No, it's not worth it at all. I, can, I cannot see. Not worth it at all. I cannot see. No? Okay. Well, no, no, give him a sec, give him a sec. But I, I do want to see your face because 
You say you're sorry. You say you're remorseful. I, I, I Dude, hear you crying. I don't crying. see any tears. Yeah, I don't see you crying, man. Wow, the face is so dry. It's Hollywood. Huh? I apologize. Don't tell that to him. <laughs> Why are you sorry to him? What, him? What? Why are you laughing? That's who you want to bang today? Him? No, sorry. All right. No, no, come on. His nice lips. I mean, they're pretty nice. Sean's they're got pretty, nice lips. I'll say that. Dude, I feel bad for your son, man. I didn't get to grow up with my father. You're raising your kid, and this is the example you're setting? Come on, man. Please what? Please what? I'm sorry. Please what? I apologize to you for doing all these stupid things. But does that make it? Right. How about you look in the camera and apologize to every traumatized minor in this country that gets molested and raped every single day by people like you? Go ahead. I'm sorry about that. I, it's a very dumb thing to do. It's just very stupid, not worth it. It's not worth it. And it, it's worrisome that you're attracted to, to minors. No, it's not. I'm so sorry. I truly apologize. So what is wrong between you and your, and your wife? Nothing, sorry. Do, do, do you love your wife? I do. You do? You have a funny way of showing it. Wow. Listen, if you if you love your wife, and I, I, I believe that you do have love for your wife, wouldn't wouldn't you wanna, you know, tell her the double life that you're living? If you love her. Cause I bet she's so in love with you, but the person that she's in love with doesn't actually exist. I have an idea. Let's do this. That's a hard problem. She's either going to answer or it's going to go to voicemail. Either one, we're going to talk. Give you a chance to say what you want to say. Maybe she can look at the uh, voicemail. Oh, I will. I just want to give him a chance to speak. Okay. If not, she'll listen to it later. Yep. You can tell her. Oh, uh, well, I'll, okay. <laughs> Thank you for your awesome permission. Automatic voice message system. Six. <laughs> Hey. Too busy taking care of the kids? Mm. Not available. You said your wife has a heart problem, dude. Oh. Alright, that's the voicemail. Um, I got Martin here. What do you want to say? He's sitting here sulking like a little bitch, but you know, I know he wants to say something. No? Okay, I'll let the 13 year old girl he just tried to meet tell you what's going on. Hi, um, your husband was kind of sting operation trying to meet a 13 year old girl for sex. They've been having a ex sexually explicit conversation on Badoo and Kick and various other uh, hookup apps for about a month and a half. Um, so he's in quite the situation right now and I'm re really sorry to be the one to inform you about this but I felt like you had the right to know who, who you're actually living with and um, it's a little concerning since you do have a 14 year old in the house. Thank you. And that's only message number one out of 69 that we're gonna leave right now. And we are going to your house. And we are gonna knock on, on your house door. By your stupid decision, you broke so many hearts of people who loves you. By one stupid decision, you cross your whole fucking life yeah, to go... Go ahead. No, to go to the park with a 13 years old. You are sick and you need help. You need a doctor. Your balls and your dick, your testicles should be cut it off. He's lucky I'm not present. Yeah, this isn't something that just goes away. You know, if you, if you said you fought with yourself all day not to come and you still came anyway, you need help, man. You, you, you have to seek out therapy because you obviously don't know right from wrong or don't care. One of those two. Oh, numb. Been dumb and numb. I pray that you're not just numb, dude. I pray that you're not just some monster out here preying on children. No, I'm not. Just this I'm children. Not. Just this child. No, right? I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not. You just. Recently, you just an exception. No, sir. No, no, no. I'm not. 
perfect exception for after dark I'm hugs and kisses. So what do you call yourself then? A guy who fucking comes to stupid idiot. An idiot. So only an idiot comes to meet a, a oh, child sir, in the in the middle of the night sir. in the park? I don't think no, you realize the monster. severity of this. You could have ruined a child's life tonight. No, no, yeah, no, no, you could no, have. No, no. So sending a message to your neighbor daughter who live right across from you and your kid go with that kid to the school every single day and you put them and you walk them to the bus every single day and you send that message right across from your neighbors to your neighbors saying touch yourself watch porn with me put a hot pack on my dick and you describe this as a being an idiot no. absolutely not I don't think so I think this is a sickness and you need two things in your life well you need a lot of things in your life but one of those to get locked up and seek for help yeah Incarcer incarceration and rehabilitation yep that's it yeah. there is nothing else we can help you it was just a matter of time until you're gonna get busted. And you got busted today. Luckily for the other fucking underage kids in this beautiful neighborhood, today is the day that one predator is gone. You not predator. Um, do you wanna read the transcript again? We can read it from, from top to bottom. Hey Siri, what is definition of being predator? <clears throat> Child molester. <laughs> Someone who goes after someone weaker than them. You're older, you're smarter, you're more experienced. You know better. Martin, the laws are set in place for a reason, okay? Why are they set in place? Can you answer that? It's because their brains are far from developed. So she can consent tonight and then regret it tomorrow. She's innocent. Or she could regret it two years from now. Or she could regret it when she's 25 and she's like, whoa, I was groomed when I was younger. And then it could lead to mental illness. It can lead to suicide. Because her brain was far from developed when she consented. That is why the laws are in place, Martin. And you don't care. You disregarded that for your own pleasure. And that's how kids become trafficked. That's why child porn exists. It contributes to child trafficking for people to get off on their sick desires that they make a reality. So how do we not categorize you in that same genre of people today when you did exactly what they do? Like, how do we know you don't have porn on your phone or your computer? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I love Thank how God. this guy is Sorry, just sir, like... Sir, I don't have any of that stupid shit. But, uh, but you asked... I don't have it, but I'm here with 13 I, years old girl, I know, but I don't have it. I know, I don't, I don't. And you asked for it. You asked for, you asked for a shower no, photo. I don't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't ask for no... You, d you asked for a shower no. photo of a child. No, this is completely unacceptable. Does your sergeant have fucking children? What is your sergeant's name? Um, well, do you want me to have a sergeant call you? Absolutely, fucking lutely I do. Okay. Right now, please. Immediately, thank you. Bye. Oh, fuck. What just gonna... happened? So dispatch called me back and said that sergeant, Sergeant Fuckface says that they're not gonna dispatch on this call and they want me to go to some fucking website and I'm gonna tear him a new fucking asshole. What you did, you're only upset because your wife is gonna find out. That's it, Martin. You don't care. I just don't care. Show me your tears. Tristan, these crocodile tears means nothing. And he don't even have one. <gasps> Perfect. All right, answer, Martin. Hello? Oh, she hung up. Call it back.
How convenient. Pizza is almost here. I know you didn't order one, but we call pizza. The strongest pizza that you can find in this neighborhood is yeah. coming. Yeah. Hi, how are you? Hi, um, we run an organization that catches online predators and uh, we run documentaries on it and Martin here was caught up in a sting operation trying to meet a 13 year old girl for sex. What? Yeah, he's in front of us right now, refusing to call his wife and tell exactly why he showed up after dark, after doing his shifts at his work to meet with 13 years old kid that he'd been texting sexually and asking for naked pictures for months and a half. He's right now crying. He's asked for from her. He's asked multiple times to meet up with her. Um, and tonight he finally went through with it. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm lost. I don't know who you're talking about. Martin? Is your husband's name Martin? Uh-huh. Okay, your husband. Oh, then your husband. I just listen for a sec. Your husband is a child predator. He is in the park right now, expecting to get sex from a 13-year-old girl. Do you understand what I'm saying? Uh, no. You shouldn't be calling me. And that thing you should be calling the police. Oh, I called the police. Oh, and they're this on, is coming. They're on their way. I'm just saying, do you want to know about this? Because it's your husband and you have yeah, a, you know, a 14-year-old kid. I'm getting phone Here, talk to him. Talk to him. I'll hold the phone. Okay. Whoa, she doesn't care. She just doesn't believe it. She doesn't. Oh, she so will. Then, why don't you tell her? Yeah, you I'm to. going to. So call, call I mean, she'll see that. it. She'll see yeah. it anyway. You want to? I'm gonna call her back. Are you gonna talk to her or no? All I'm right. gonna hold the phone. You, I think you need to call from your phone. Call from your phone. Yeah. Just wasting time here. Todo lo que te dijeron es verdad. Speakerphone. English, please. Todo lo que te dijeron es verdad. Hello? Todo lo que te dijeron Speak es verdad. English. ¿Qué? ¿Dónde estás? En el parque, I'm sorry. Fuck. Acabo de echar a perder nuestra vida y la tuya? We didn't lie to you. Yeah. We didn't lie to you. We told you. Please, bueno. it'll be great if you, oh, both bueno. of you can speak English. Bueno. Aquí estoy. No sé. Oh my goodness. Yep, that's your husband, or at least who's pretending to be your husband. We so. Hold on one second. Yes. Excuse me. May I? May I speak to you? Just now. Just right now. It's been going on for months, but he's finally caught. What do you mean for months? Please. I can, uh, you I know, can. please, maybe you can. The girl that he's talking to is right here. Go ahead. Hey, um, so he's been, he hit up a 13 year old, an alleged 13 year old girl on an app, a hookup app called Badoo, and then they switched to kick. Okay, okay, wait, 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 where are you? I have to be on my way there. Where are you? No, no, venga. We are at the community they're gonna, park. They're Commun gonna lock me up, so once they don't come over. Come. Well, hold on. Community Park in North Park. Ma'am, we're gonna give you we're gonna give you exact location. I'll text you the address. No, we're gonna help. We're your gonna wife. we're gonna. I'm. Please what? There is no please. You're not gonna. Get... No, 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 please, no, please, no, no, no. It's too late for that. Hold on, hold on. No, she gonna. It's okay. We need to calm her down. We need to calm her down. We need to help. Oh my god. We need to help. We need to help. We need to help. Hold on, ma'am. Can you? Oh my god. Please. Martin, can I please talk to her? Please. It's not a joke. Hold on. Okay. Ma'am, it's it's not a joke. It's it's true. Ma'am, um, it's true. I made a mistake. I fucked up. I fucked up. Okay, Calmate. This cannot be true. Calmate. No, You're not gonna see no, me ever no, again. Ma'am, you just. I'm so it. sorry. I fucked it all up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I. I, I know. Please, I'm sorry. Just fucking forget about me. 
¿Y qué voy a hacer con tus hijos, idiota? ¿Qué voy a hacer con tus hijos? Please come to the park. No. Meet your husband. I, 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 come to the park. No, I don't want. I'm not It's few blocks away from your house. Yes. Yes, please. please do. She have to see. Ma'am, you aren't. We. You're not alone here. Howard I Ave. Community it. Park on Howard I Ave. I, I, I need time. It. I need time to get my daughter out of the water right now. We need. Oh, can not, you please come? Come on. Come on. Come Sir. He should have thought about this before. He should have thought about this before. What would happen to you? You are a freaking. You ruin lives, Martin. One decision. One decision. Oh my goodness. We're not going anywhere. We, we, uh, please. Um, I know there is no way to soften this situation, but ma'am, you have to be strong for your kids. You have to be right now man of the family. Don't film her when she comes. I'm an educator. I will risk Don't film children. She has a 13 year old daughter, a 14 year old boy. This is not true. Tell me it's not true. Sorry. I wish we wish we can say that it's it's just April 1st joke, but it's not a joke. Nobody's hanging up. We 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 here for you. Yes, hi. This is my third time trying to attempt to get police uh, assistance here for a child molester that is here in this park. Um, I'm supposed to get a phone call from a supervisor. The situation is escalating. I am beside myself that you guys have not taken this seriously. I need an officer assistance right now. Please, you have to come over. I don't. Please, no, I you're not living. Please. Why do you want to move? It's okay. It's nobody gonna see it. Now I believe he's crying. Yeah. This is the first time when I believe that he's crying. <laughs> when she gets here, when she gets here. Right when now, she gets here, here, you can go and talk to her. When she, no, we're not going to, no. She's she going to come? Film her. For protection. Yes, that's correct. Yep, we're right here by the bathroom. I have a man here that was here to meet an alleged 13-year-old girl for sex. His wife is on the phone now threatening suicide and threatening to come here. Um, you guys have denied this now twice. My supervisor is supposed to call me and he hasn't. This is an absolute embarrassment of your department. So I need officer assistance right now. Okay, so how, um, how do you know that the wife is on the phone? Because I just spoke to her. The guy is sitting on the bench here. He knows he's caught. We're here. It was a sting operation. He's here. I have all the proof. He was soliciting sex from a minor via an electronic device. His wife is on the phone and just found out, and now she's screaming and making violent threats against herself and is going to come here. I need police assistance now. It's now been almost a fucking hour. I'm gonna update that. Thank you. Tell your supervisor to get his head out of his asshole because this is absolutely ridiculous. If he had kids, he would be acting differently. I want to speak to him personally. Okay, I understand. And you made that request already, you said, right? Well, he was, I was told he was about to call me, and he didn't. Oh. And the clock's ticking, right. so I, ne I need... Okay, so uh, make sure that you have your phone so you can accept... Um, I'm here. Call, I'm staring okay? at it, just waiting for someone to okay. do something. Okay, all right. Thank I'll you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Number three. There's nothing we can help you from now on. We're here. Yeah, we're here. Okay. Come closer to us. Location. What's that? Location. She's asking for location. It's a community park on Howard Ave. We texted it. We texted it to you, ma'am. Calm down. 
Yeah, I'll try to come from home. This cannot be true. This cannot be true. What if... What's gonna happen to him? We... That's not up to us. It's... That's not of your... It's... That's the last concern about what's gonna happen yeah. to him. That's... You should not be worried about your husband. He... He came to meet someone younger than his... Your guys' kids. No. Oh, her God. No. You just gotta calm down, please, while you're driving, and we can explain more when you get here. Yeah, please don't put your kids in danger by driving. Um, please try to calm down. You. You don't know what this means. You don't know what this means to a person who works with children. We know that. We, we know that you're a teacher. We know that. We know that. We know who you are. Yes. Well. Ma'am, I... We will... F we're gonna figure this out. You're not alone yeah, here. you're not alone. We, we care for you. I wish... And how is gonna be away from his record? You That's are... That's not... He should... Ma'am, he should you, be he in jail. He should get that on the record, ma'am. He's a danger to society. No, I'm not. You're not? How? You wanted to have sex with a 13-year-old. You, you're here. Yes, that would happen. She was living with a 13-year-old. What? Yes, now you hear your daughter. She's so Oh my gosh, this is getting old. <laughs> now he's here, now she's here. You hear your daughter's head. I don't know. Why? Why now? Ma'am, um, all I can say that you have to be strong for your kids. You, you have to be strong for your kids, please. He knows who I am. He knows I was in the hospital because I think I was having a heart attack. She's complaining. She always talks shit about people that like uh, girls and they look at the girls with a... Oh, fuck him. Fuck you. He's living a double life, but... You just You just have to calm down, especially if you're going to drive. Yeah, if you're driving, uh, especially with your kids, so please try to um, try to be strong. That's all I can say. Please try to be strong. We will be here waiting here, for you in so just a few come. minutes. This is your husband. You're going to deal with it. This is your problem. Uh, it's not your problem anymore. It's a society problem. <laughs> Oh, I know he. No wonder he always said he never gets to love anybody. No wonder he always comes to He he's ruining he's ruining not only this thirteen year old girl's life but his entire family's life. No wonder he always. No, I always see it. He thinks that everybody has the same. No wonder why it took us 20, 30 minutes or even 40 minutes he refused to call you and we have the numbers everything and now I understand why. Now I understand why he didn't want to call you. I don't have bitch if I have to be. And he doesn't really deserve your kindness anyway. Look at how he's treating you. Yeah. Martin, you put us all in this situation tonight. Okay. 
Uh, listen, this is not gonna change any situation. Screaming, yelling, it's not gonna change the fact. I need to get my anxiety out. I need to get my freaking energy out of my system. And well, we then are. Then come here. Then please come here. We are here to and help you. And talk to your husband face to face. I am my way, I am my way, but I want him to be prepared. I, I'm sure he's prepared, but we just needed oh, to be prepared. safe while you're driving. He's prepared. He refused to call you for 40 minutes. Oh, he's prepared. He's he knows who is he facing right now. Why? When she comes, you leave. Now you're not even moving your finger. You're gonna be you're gonna be sitting here. You're, you're not going anywhere. You need to calm down, Martin. Oh. What did she say? None of this is your this fault. This is none of your fault. This is a sickness. This is this is all him. He need help. He need a doctor. No, he does. But he knows he has a little problem. The only legal problem is gonna affect everything right now. Oh, we know that. We know that. Yeah. And police is coming as well. It's just take a minute. Well, he doesn't, he should not be around children anyway. How are you? Hey. Yeah, how are you? Can I get some help over here? So what's going on? We have a guy that was trying to meet a 13 year old girl for sex. Okay. And now his wife is on the line, freak, freaking out. She's on her way here and she's threatening suicide. Police? It's the guy's wife who was caught. Okay, all right. So, so we're an organization. We put together sting operations to okay. catch child predators. This guy's 54. He was here to meet with our decoy who was over there. He could talk to her. Okay. With all the information printed, he's trying to meet a 13-year-old okay. girl for sex. Where is the subject? He's sitting on the bench okay. right Have over there. Have you been working in conjunction with any law enforcement agency? No, I'm trying to. I, this is a third call trying to get you guys here. Did you call the uh, National Center for Missing and Exploited Children? No. Or Internet Crimes for... Uh, Crimes? No. Okay. We're here with you right now to help us resolve the situation. You have a Chula Vista predator preying on 13-year-old kids. Okay. So, and Okay, so we'll go over there and we're going to talk with them, but nobody's getting arrested today. Okay? I, that's not my decision. Okay. I just need some help because... Do you have kids? Mm -hmm. That's Anyway, okay. we're not going to get So you do. That, okay? So this guy is preying on 13-year-old children. Okay. And I w I'd like to know who the supervisor was that denied mm -hmm. this twice, okay. this call, which is absolutely... I'm the supervisor okay, right that's, here. that's embarrassing. Okay. Embarrassing. Okay. This guy's meeting 13 year old girls for sex in your okay. jurisdiction. So, and I had to call so three times. Okay. okay. I'm just, I'm, so, I'm upset. So we're going to get everybody's information. Are That's you guys great. willing to turn in all your electronic Abs devices that have been in this investigation? I'm not giving you my phone, but we'll send evidence? you the information. Absolutely. So the, the detectives want the actual phones as evidence. No, you're not getting my phone. You can get the evidence so and the screenshots. You're not willing to help this investigation that you're starting. So sir? the only way I can help is by surrendering my phone to you? That's not going to happen. That's what they want. How about we go talk as a group? Because I have my associates uh -huh. here and I appreciate not okay. this one on one kind of interrogation. I got the oh, whole no, thing happening right there okay. and now you're wasting time over here with stupid questions can we just okay, go talk to the guys sitting sir. i'm trying to get all the information so we know what's going okay. on okay well there's a plethora of it over there so can you follow me all right so so my officer here is going to give we need everybody's identification okay fine you guys are all involved that's so fine do all that stuff. instead of repeating right. yourself to them why don't we just okay. go talk to them just three calls fucking a fucking embarrassment hey it's a uh, community park on howard ave Community, community park. Yeah, we're like right next to the uh, restrooms, next to the baseball field. We texted you. We texted you the address from the other number. He he refused to call from his phone. Yeah. Uh, and uh, ma'am, you better hurry up. The police just arrived. Exactly, and that's what we want, that every, every single one of you be strong, please. Please. If you want to, I told them a little bit about the, like, your decoy and what's going on here, but if you want to start. Yeah, um... Yeah, do, I'm here with you. Yeah, um, 
So we were talking on an app called Badoo. Um, he hit up my decoy profile, who was 13 years old, and um, started talking sexual to her. And this lasted for about a month and a half. Um, and then he had asked multiple times to meet up with her, and we kept pushing it off, you know, maybe giving him like an out or something. He never um, stopped asking, and tonight he finally decided to meet up. Um, thankfully, there was no actual 13 year old involved, but he does have kids that age, which is worrisome. So. Did you guys uh, talk to any law enforcement before you did what you were doing, your decoy? No. Did you get any advisement from any law enforcement agency on how to go about it? Um, yeah, we have many times. This isn't you, like... You contact the law enforcement about how to go back about doing this decoy? Yeah, we have many times, yeah. What law enforcement agency did you talk to? I'm from Wisconsin, so like Racine County, Sheboygan County. Okay. Any local law enforcement in California? We're we from Los Angeles. We're independent journalists. And we do actually, we are uh, busting uh, scammers, so we do a lot of investigation. No, I understand this, sir. I'm just saying, no, in San Diego, absolutely. in the city of San Diego, no. the state of California. No, up to this, no. Okay. no. So, we are so, here so doing you're something. basically on your own doing this yes, right sir. here? Yes. Okay. Yes, we're independent, yes. Okay. Well, we did our due diligence, and I have everything here you can have. What, did every, you, what, what was your due diligence? I'm printing every single trans, uh, piece of correspondence, all of information about him, corroborating on camera when he showed up and verified all the things he said he was going to do verbally yeah. to her when he showed up. Asking for naked pictures, if she's watching porn, if she's touching herself. And um, so basically today she said that uh, mom, and, uh, mom is out of town, and he asked about the dad, and he was waiting waiting for the right moment to meet. No, I understand what old. you guys have done. No, of course, I'm just, absolutely. I'm just making sure you haven't collaborated or coordinated with any law enforcement agency. No, not until now. Independent. Independent. Not so independent. Not independent. Not independent. independently. Yes. Okay, correct. So like my supervisor said, we're going to get everybody's information. So if I can get IDs from everybody involved, your cameraman and you guys, so we can absolutely. document it. Yeah. And then once again, like my sergeant said, we talked to our Internet Crimes Against Children Connection and our vice, and they've asked for you to turn over evidence so they can put a case together are you I have the number for it too so well you, let me let you, me are you willing to turn over the evidence today to us so we can make a case we are more than happy to turn over the evidence he wants me to give all of our phones away which is not going to happen well, we need the original we'll, documented we'll thing returned. they'll get returned when it's my phone you like you know you're not taking phones well, yeah. that's unnecessary it's considered evidence it's electronic evidence. You can send yes. it electronically. Yes. You don't. Yeah. We can. Yeah. We can send it on. We can upload yeah. it right you're now. Can, to, I can. Yeah. I can sit here till so, two a.m. and upload so it for we, you. But you're not taking the device. We'll give you an event number, and the event number will go to um, our specialized unit. Okay. And then you can. They'll contact you to relay that information. Okay. And okay. then That's in the case in the case that he is not. Collect everybody's ID real quick for me. Basically, we'll get his information, but they're telling us not to make an arrest because they don't know what kind of investigation you've done and what tactics you. Well, they haven't looked. Well, so. they, they they're not but here to way, do that. Usually, it's going to take time. I understand. All the paperwork. I understand. But we will have a documented. But just for, I'm, for, I'm gonna right now. I'm gonna bring you who we are, so you can see what exactly we're doing for society. So can, maybe you will all be I like. use your ID. Yeah. That's the thing. Can I get a car car keys, please? Yeah. Um, can I ask a question, yes, for, at least for future reference? Sure. You know, right here we have everything printed, and I apologize, I'm, I'm not That's trying okay. to be disrespectful. No, I, I have the, you're, you're the really... highest regard for law enforcement, believe me. I just, I, we've now been here for almost two hours, and I kept getting calls saying you guys weren't coming. And this is a serious issue. I got nieces and nephews. It's like, anyway. We have every piece of information, every text message he sent, every piece of intent, and every video recording on SD cards right now showing that he corroborated everything he said he was going to do. How is that not enough for you right now to show intent and arrest him? I don't so, understand that. So what you have to do is when you gather things, then you have to get with the agency first, things. turn over the, whatever you've collected so that they, because they have to build a case if it goes to court. And they have to know that what you guys did is in following with what they need in order to get a prosecution. Okay. okay? So they don't want I, it to seem like it's just some vigilante group, even though your intentions might be properly, that you may not do it properly. And there's a certain way that it has to be done for law enforcement in order for a DA to want it, to be able to say, hey, we're going to take this trial, we're going to prosecute, we're going to indict this person. Okay? I understand. Okay. So they, sometimes do by time doing this, recording. you're jumping the gun. And, and this guy might get off scot-free because maybe you didn't do something just I appropriately. Understand. That's that's all it is. But everything we've done before, yeah, like, we um, you, you know, we... It's called Trilogy. If we take all the information, like, because what we primarily do is chase scams. Like, uh, she does, she's very experienced with, like, the wires. We chase scams. We do, like, a lot of online, like, robocall fraud and all that kind of stuff. So we run into this a lot where it's like, oh, I can't do anything right now. And I get that. But, um, 
I. No, I, I saw it. So we. No, no, no. It's okay. You don't. You don't. You know. You don't like. We all of a sudden you think that we're the bad guys. No. And you don't want to give me a second to explain to show you what do we do for society and how many lives we saved. Sir, this is my first time with people in your Absolutely. industry, so and that, I know what you're doing. Yeah, I that, that's why you can tell him he's actually trilogy, listening to me. So. Trilogy, media, okay. Media. Um, yeah. Okay. Close good. So, yes, sir. I need you to get off the phone right now for a minute, alright? Can you call back when we're done? You understand, though, for the the moment, you just look at the to this closure, okay? Yeah, I'll be coming up to show. So I'm gonna go back to the car, add everything to the incident, and I'll give him an event number. Yeah, and you got all his information. I got his information. And you still have my ID, right? Yeah, I'm gonna go add it all to the event number in the okay. car. So I'll bring you back your IDs, Appreciate and I'll give you an event number. Appreciate it. What this is and gonna, then, um, make okay. sure we run them. Yeah. And then you said you have paperwork, yeah. things that we can take right Absolutely. now. Absolutely, I'll give you everything. Fully yeah. loaded. And uh, pages. all the uh, text transcripts are also digital on her phone if you want screenshots. Sorry, will you hold this, please? Um, this is just information. What, what he may be, what he'll do, he'll give you uh, his email. This is the chat box. And then you can forward sure. any of the screenshots, all that stuff. Okay, sure. I'll do that. I can yeah. give him a hard copy right now. This is all the conversations up until this morning. There's been more since, but we haven't been home to print them. So mm -hmm. uh, this is every single chat log. Uh, and willingly seeing that it's a 13 year old girl, he acknowledged it, you know, everything. Um, and it, this is just research we did on him. You can have it, but it's probably not useful to you. Yeah, yeah we'll get, you know, he comes back. And right. stuff. Okay. I mean, you guys can just explain to him, you know, who is it that was doing the communications and stuff like that. Her. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We'll explain. She's the okay. girl. Yeah. Perfect. She was one on one with him the whole time, the last okay. two months. So. Thank you for listening. No, yeah. Sorry no. I came in hot-headed, but it's just... It's okay, you know, I just... Thank you, know. you for coming. I know you guys are busy. Some counties we, we, different. We, like, some counties arrest on the spot, and then some just can't, right. you know? So you never know what you're going to get, so that's mm -hmm. why it's also frustrating. She flew in today. Yeah. Know, so it's, yeah, it's... Uh, we drove Yeah, down, they've been talking so. for, like, months and a half. Mm -hmm. Every day. Every day, non-stop. You, you're gonna, you going to gross up when you're going to read you're the gonna, messages. Gonna make yeah. Yeah. You'll, you'll gain a relationship. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but anyway, you know, so... I appreciate you guys being here. No, thank you. Yeah. Sorry well, that we, we can't get here right it. away. No, no I, I, get, I get it. I thank get you for it. coming. Yeah. Better late than never. escalating, and I keep getting the calls from the dispatch saying they're not coming. It's just like, oh, this is getting we worse. We can get here right away. Well, they so, told me you're not coming. Okay. They, they told me that, that you're not coming They told me either. their supervisor refused to come. That's why I was upset when we pulled out. Okay. Am I the thing? No, right now, but you're going to send your ID back, right? Uh, no, he's got my my ATM card. <coughs> <coughs> okay, he's gonna bring it back to you, okay? Yeah, right here. Huh? I don't want to be feeling it. I don't want to Just hang on one second so we can get it for you and then we can do it. Can you go stop filming me, please? No. They're already here. Yeah, it's, gonna it's for our protection. It's, it's just a public place. Dude, you got nothing to stand on. Can I move over there, please? Huh? Where can would I you like to go? To my car. To your car? Yeah. Well, just, just give me they're one second. They're gonna make a big deal when my wife comes here, anyways. No, just no, hold no, on, sir. You wear. Martin. Martin. No, he's coming with me. I'm not running away from you. Okay, you better not. <laughs> he won't go anywhere. He gave us a finger. He grew a pair of balls on us. <laughs> wow. Well, right. The cops right. are here. All right. okay. Appreciate your time. Awesome. Okay. Hey, thank you so much. Nice thank you for being nice right, cool. Nice. Thank you very much. Care, thank you. Thank you for your service. Of course, it's my pleasure. That's our uh, decoy. That's our girl. That's the one that your husband been talking for months and a half. Yeah, this is his profile, like this this actual app. So I click on this app. This is one of his, he has like multiple kicks, multiple accounts. This mm -hmm. is him. Uh, where are you? I'm in the, I'm on the bench by the bathroom. He showed up on the bench by the bathroom tonight. This is him. Okay, thank you. I'm right, sorry. that's all I need to know. Thank you. Right. Your, your skin will be crawling if you read the... Um, do you have our number? Uh, no, if you need anything, anything please let us know. Yeah. My heart breaks for you and your family. I really am sorry, but you know, we feel that better that you know than not know. So. She asked for pictures of her being going in the shower, if she's watching porn, if she's touching herself, everything. He, he, wanted, her, he wanted her to put icy hot on his penis. Um, just anything you can think of, it, it was talked about. He acknowledged she was in school a lot, so he acknowledged the age many times. So today she said that uh, mom was traveling for wedding to Las Vegas, and uh, she does not have a father, so that's why he mm -hmm. came from work directly to the park to meet that 13 year old.
so sorry. Do not hesitate to reach out if you need somebody, okay? Um, and yeah, I mean, I know this is hard to read, but if you want to send you the full month and a half of text messages, we can do that as well. Um, just shoot us a text message so from the number that we called you on. Mm -hmm. and, uh, okay, perfect. Thank you. Take care. Yeah. Stay strong. Do the right thing. Thank you. When Martin and I had first started talking, he did lie to me about his name um, and a few other things, you know, normal, typical predator behavior. I did have my friend Zero Day find all of his information for me, so that helped a great amount because Martin never did tell me his real name. I also want to say that my friend Zero Day is the one who got me in contact with Trilogy Media, and for that I'm forever grateful because I think that together... We made a really good team, and we exposed a really, really bad, dangerous person. He's such a threat to society. I mean, almost immediately, you know, Martin came up and tried to hug me. He tried to put his arms around who he thought was a 13-year-old right away, and that's really concerning. Martin's wife did end up showing up on the scene, and uh, she seemed like she was in disbelief, and uh, I just told her to make the, the correct choice and make smart choices and to do the right thing. Unfortunately, police, you know, they didn't really take it too serious at first, uh, and then when we expressed our frustration about it, they seemed to want to take the, our information down and Martin's information and gave us a number uh, and an email to forward everything over to a detective. If you know Martin in real life, uh, please don't go up to him, don't harm, don't harass him. Just definitely spread this video, especially if you're in the San Diego and Chula Vista area uh, in California. I am talking to a few more men from California, so maybe... I'll be back there before you guys know it. Who knows? But yeah, guys, be sure to go check out Trilogy Media if you don't know who they are. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to them and uh, show your support. Link to their channel in the description below. If you would like to see full chat logs, consider becoming a member for only $4.99 a month. And it also really helps out the channel. Um, and, you know, we really appreciate our members. My Ko-Fi is nuked so anyone that was a ko-fi member if you want to switch over to members um just a heads up i my ko-fi was nuked so i look forward to working with trilogy media again in the future i feel like we can accomplish a lot together and um you know this is just the beginning i feel like so as always guys thank you so much for watching and always please be safe bye
And is this the correct address? Uh, yes, it is. Okay, everything's correct. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Coley. Did you call it? Oh, Coley. Tall guy. Phone number, sir. Uh, Two. Uh, cell phone? That's Connor. Yeah, that's cell phone. Yeah, that's correct. Is there <laughs> What? Yes, that, yes, that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> the light is blinding. That's the guy in the dark. In the, the guy with the shoes. I didn't get your ID. Your ID. Who left the shoes? I didn't get your ID. <laughs>